we we'll talk about sacrifices today so bhagavad gita covers uh, sacrifices uh, in few chapters in detail uh, starts with the uh, chapter 3 karma yoga it says anad bhanti bhutani parjanyat anasambhava yagyat bhavati parjanyo yagya karma samudbhava karma karma brahmodbhava vidhi brahmakshara samudbhava so this whole Sushti is like a chakra. It's a cyclic process wherein food is produced by rain. Sur- survival of human beings is because of food. Food is produced by rain. Rain is a result of a lot of combinations of we keeping nature in. perfect balance and that's why production of rain is related to sacrifices and in today's world when we talk about so much about climate change we have as human beings we have lot of responsibility to restore everything a uh, lot of uh, damage has been done and uh, it is easy to destroy something but it takes uh, considerable amount of time to restore normalcy and uh, we all have to play a very active role in restoring the forces of the nature to create a right balance so that the cycle of chakra goes on smoothly same is re- re- related in our day to day life also good and great are separated by willingness to sacrifice you make sacrifices then one is gets a shower of outcomes positive outcomes so these are all linked and of course you again make you do that and it's again a cyclic thing you do you make sacrifices you reap the results results motivate you you again more make more sacrifices so or work in a cyclic way when there is a element of sacrifices in our approach yagya shishta sano santo mujjante sarva jeeva se bunjate tavam papam ye pachanatma karanat so those who have their needs satisfied by ensuring everybody else's need is satisfied and then they satisfy their needs that is called sacrifice chapter 4 of bhagavad gita talks about sacrifices in many ways dravya gya tapo yagya yoga yagya tatha pare swadhyay gyan yagya cha yatah sanchit vrata so you perform yagya in terms of the dravya yagya all your rituals you use lot of materialistic form of sacrifices you or some yoga yagya which is ashtanga yoga yam niyam asan pranam pratyan pratyarpan dhyan samadhi swadhyay tap you can also do yoga in terms of austerities then also do yoga in terms of learning your self to a long journey in life is to learn about, about ourselves How we should make every day better for ourselves. Learning is essentially the understanding the essential elements of life, which makes us stable in all situations. That's the true learning. And then you can also do strict rules. Also, so there are many different ways of sacrifices are described in chapter. and one conclusive statement after many forms of sacrifice that are explained is shreyan tavya may atke gyan yagya parant pa sarva karma akhilam gani parisamat so sacrifice in terms of knowledge is far more superior than sacrifice in terms of material so it is more about the value 
value oriented sacrifices that is very critical uh, you can go to many temples to perform your puja and use different material to perform puja for rituals or you can so that is sort of a dravya yagya and you can use the gyan yagya also of the same thing wherein you close your eyes and then you just visualize the same idol in the same temple which you really like and then just keep visualizing it intensely and then offer all your focus devotion keeping everything away from all materialistic thoughts away and just offer yourself that is jani one form of jani jani is all about practicing uh, without uh, materialistic aspects chapter 17th also describes uh, yagya what is sacrifice which is sattvic what is rajasic what is tamasic afala tamshi biryad vidhi dashto yajyate yashto bame vedhi samada arta sattvika so giving due importance to the process such sacrifice which is process oriented without worrying about outcome or without attachment with outcome is called sattvic abhi sanda hai tum phalam dambar na bichiyo the ijjat hai so so if you do the same sacrifice dambar which is with hypocrisy to get fame and impress people with your sacrifices that is rajasik tamasik is you know, offering of or donation of food mantra hinan there is no right thoughts right invocation of right mantras not paying the needy ones who perform services there is no element of devotion in it such a yagya is tamasik yagya so beautifully worded across and just con- conclusively uh, in today's world uh, we have uh, in terms of making sacrifices to make uh, everything better uh, in covid times uh, uh, have to make sacrifices uh, by staying in isolation so that we don't catch it even if we are healthy enough we do not uh, endanger those who in our family are older ones or who are more susceptible uh, more uh, prone to infections because of age or other uh, uh, limitations 